Hey guys, it's your boy Nate, aka Killer Snake. Back with another video. Ooh. Wow. It's your boy Nate, aka Killer Snake, back again, back again with another video today. I'm going to be talking about the revamp. And I wanted to have this discussion. Um, because it's... Alright. Again. As Because this is not my usual revamp talk video. Where I go over the new cars and all. The, because, let's be honest. This might be the, this may be the last revamp talk video. Not because you guys aren't showing the support. It's because it's the reason the reason this may may or may not be the last revamp talk video I do on this channel is because I don't care about the revamp anymore. The revamp is so boring to wait for. Let me I'll explain why. The the key thing is the revamp the revamp is taking way too long. It's taking so long that I just don't care about it anymore. It, and again, I want to for real quick I want to talk about Pembroke Pines because they did it they did a revamp. They did a better job. They did better at how they how they did it. How they approach um organizing. It's just how they approach doing it is better than than how the games were way better. So the Pebble Pines revamp was released July fifteenth. Now this is update we've been waiting for for a while, right? All right. Now. And just like Greenville, they show pictures of the revamp before it came out to hype it, hype us up, right? And it worked, right? Greenville, Greenville did the same thing. But here's the, here's the issue. Greenville is still doing that. Pembroke Pines is not doing that anymore. Why? Because their revamp is out, right? Now, when their revamp was released, when, when Pembroke Pines revamp is, was released, you can tell it's not finished. It was released. It wasn't finished when it was released. But why? How come people aren't complaining about it? Because people loved it. They didn't care if it wasn't all the way finished. It was good enough. It was more than good enough for it to, be, to get to be more than good. Great. And it was a much, much better improvement. Right? So, again. again and, again, they can, eat, they can keep adding new cars, new buildings, new stuff to, to make the game even better. Right? Right, so already, without without the newest update, they, without the newest update added to the uh, Pembroke Pines, that just happened like a day, two days ago. I said a day ago. The, the Pembroke Pines revamp, the Pembroke Pines revamp was already better than Greenville for sure. Already better, better than it one hundred percent. Right, already better one hundred percent. Right, then we fast forward to yesterday and they dropped an update the very first update after the revamp has been out the very first car update for the revamp very first very first very very first update they they added four brand new cars <laughs> they added they added they actually added the 2018 mclaren 720s 2050 infinity q50 2019 ford fusion 2017 Tesla Model X. Now, two of those cars, cars that were in the re in the game previously, that were removed for, when, when the revamp came out, when the re when the revamp came out, and added back, and the, all those cars are better than cars in Greenville, way better, and again, we have more. Again, they added a new supercar, and again, this proves Pembroke Pines is adding updates to make the game even better. Up there, they just added four new cards. Just made the game even better. And Greenville, again, they're not green. Pedro Pines is not hyping us up. It's not still hyping us up. The pictures of the revamp. They got it done. Now they're updating the revamp. Making it better. Polishing it. 
added four new cars. Four new cars. A new again. Before before this update, like, before this update for the Paramount Primes yesterday, they only had three supercars in the game. They have four now, and a 720s at that. And we're all in the, all, all the old cars are gonna be added back. The two of them want to test them on after four future when added back, and they're better than what they were before. But they're not. But the thing is, unlike Greenville, they're not. They're not taking half a century. Greenville is taking half a century. I'm honestly scared that it may not come out this year. And again, if if the honestly, if the revamp does not come out this year, I want to start sending complaints to the staff because. This is this is ridiculous. And if we have to wait three years for this, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because oh, man. Take away and all the yes, we're getting some new buildings here and there, you know, new jobs in the game. But most of the game of the revamp most of the revamp is a car update. A big one. And, we're, and you tell me we're going to wait three years for a car update? Really? 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 Again, we've already been waiting two years already. And it's still not out yet. All I have to say is this. All I have to say is this. Um, Milk, Hunter, whoever's watching, any of the developers are watching this. Why is it taking so freaking long? Again, I'm not hyped for the revamp anymore. If the re Honestly, if the revamp, if the re if, if the Greenville revamp were to come out today, I would not play it. I'm not joking with you. I'll probably say cool and go and play Premier Pines or something again, some or some other game. Do you know why? I don't care about it anymore. You've wasted so much time taking so freaking long that there's no ex there is no hype and excitement around the revamp, right? When you release a new revamp, you want that hype, that amazing hype that brings in the player base. That people start making videos of it. It gets out there. More people hear about it. More people play it. More people play it and play it and play it. The numbers of people player base goes higher and higher. If you take too long. People start to not care about it anymore, do other things, focus on other games. Right now, Permanent Pines, right now, Permanent Pines is getting the attention because it deserves it. Greenville does not deserve it. And how did they make, how they, quote unquote, make the game better? All they did was add some new cars and new buildings to the current game. And I'm sitting here like this. Are you kidding me? You don't, we don't, we don't need new up, we don't need new buildings and new cars in the current game. We don't need that. What we want is the revamp, and obviously being, you know, the, obviously the, you know, they're not gonna listen to us. They're not gonna listen. They're gonna be, they're gonna be annoying, stupid, and just keep updating the current game and not focus on the revamp. Obviously, that's, that's what, you know, you know. So my thing is. Um, just because, that's because the reason is taking so long, does not mean it's going to be worth it. Again, some of these cars in the revamp, as special as it is, again, let me also remind you, all right? Again, one of the also one of the other things they do to help ruin their help to help ruin the revamp. Yeah, I hate when they do this. So some of the cars that were supposed to be in the revamp are in the current game. For example, find it. Oh, 
Alright. Let's go ahead. Hold up. Yeah. Here's a good example here. 2003 Toyota two, Highlander. This car, this SUV is in the current game. Right? Right? It was added to the current game. Do you know, do you know how cool it would have been to not have this in the current game and have it in a revamp, revamp and be so surprised? Like, they ruined that. And I keep doing this. They keep doing this. Like, I don't know what it is, but they keep doing this. They just keep doing it. Uh, it's another car. Let's try another. Let's look at another SUV that was in the current game that they could have saved for the revamp, like they would, like if they, they like they should have. But knowing them, they're not gonna listen to any of the fans. And yeah, the 2019 Ford Edge Titanium, an amazing SUV. I mean, it's SUV, an amazing. But when the revamp comes out, will it be will it be hyped for again? Not all the again because a lot of the, because some of the cars that they added in the current game were supposed to be in a revamp in the revamp and not in the current game. Like this vehicle, when the revamp comes around, you're basically ruining it a little bit because not all the cars are gonna get attention now. Car this car when the, when the when the revamp comes out, this car is not gonna get any attention. Do you know why? We already have it. It's already in the current game. If you all just used the, if developer, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't even say this, but if developers and stuff, if the, whoever made the, whoever makes the decision to add cars in the game, and in, in the current game, if they just used their brain, right, and said, let's not add the 20, 2019 Ford Edge and the Titanium, and let's keep it for the revamp, because the revamp, the current game version. It's nothing but a watered down version of what it's supposed to be in a revamp. Why why do all that wasted time and effort and just save it for the revamp? This is the problem. Like, bro, this is the problem. They keep adding cars that was supposed to be for was supposed to be for the revamp into the current game. Stop doing that. So that's alone helping to ruin the revamp, the overhype. They're taking too long. You can't ask them about a release date or they get mad at you. And then even here, they say... They say... I, I not kid you not. Testing sessions are coming soon. It's the 19th. I was posted on the 19th of July. And it's the 23rd. It even says you do not have a you, know, you do not have to be a private tester to test the revamp. It's coming soon. When is that? And it was sucks about the developers. These one I don't again. Not all the developers I've met a developer. I'm actually that's a fan of my channel who used to be a, a developer for Greenville. Um, I'm not gonna say their name because it's for, uh, for out of respect. But I have a friend, a fan of my channel, uh, and he used to be a uh, the rope developer for them. And he was a nice guy. Amazing. And the problem is when it comes to like these some like the higher ups in like the Greenville game, like the higher ups, like the the owner or the, you know, head of staff or something like that, CEO, whatever, you cannot go and ask them when is when is the reason gonna come out? When is the testing gonna be available? You know why? Because they'll get mad at you. Low key, they'll get mad at you. Like there was a one time point when we when where where basically if you ask developers and stuff when they, when the revamp's gonna come out they'll get mad at you. But I think I, I think listen at this at this point I think that it, the fans have a right to know at least an estimate of when it could come out because you were taking too long, and I've been watching Trello for like the past months, and based on based on my especially especially watching test server videos of people, you know, that made many videos on the test server. Um, and when I've seen it in the test server, it's not worth it. It's not worth waiting this long. 
when I, again, after really looking at everything and really thinking hard about everything, if you really sit here and think, and really think really hard about it, the Green Mountain, the Green Mountain revamp is nothing but a big car update with some, with spring, with, and then how they're gonna, how they're gonna hide it, hide that fact by sprinkling new jobs and new buildings on top of that, and well, let's say, uh, update the map a little bit, with some little bit of new roads that don't really lead anywhere that much, or, you know, just better looking grass, and that's just, and after that, just keep throwing new cars on top of it. That's what they're doing. And it's annoying because <clears throat> they're not talking. They're not communicating. Again, all they're doing is saying, posting stuff on a picture revamp, constantly posting pictures. I'm like, you can only do this for so long. Because nobody cares about the revamp anymore. Nobody cares. It's so bo- like, you can only tease to show awesome stuff what's going to be in the revamp for so long before people give up on it. I've given up on it. I don't care about it. I, I've given up on it. I, I don't care about it. Right? It's not worth the way. It's not worth it. Now, if you guys are... All super hyped for the revamp. Just go play something else. It's not worth it. It's not worth the waiting time. It's not worth the hype. Hammer Pines is a good example. They had a revamp. They kept the hype. They had the hype. They kept it. Revamp was released. The hype was still there heavily. And now the hype. And now the game is most, most people. I played Hammer Pines. I haven't played Greenville in days. It, it, it's. I mean, current Greenville is so boring now. Like, I just want to play the revamp. And it's taking so long, it's not worth waiting this long for. I can't wait to see what the excuse they're going to... I can't wait to see the miraculous excuse is going to be as to why it took so long. Bruh, it's not worth it. it, it the, revamp, the revamp is not worth two more than... Uh, more than Again, the revamp is not worth more than a two-year wait. It's not worth it. It is not worth the wait. 150%. It's not worth the wait. So I'm saying, it's not worth it. It's not worth the wait. Hammer Pines is better than the current game. It's, it's gonna, it gets updated. And new update came out, added new vehicles, right? Make the current game even better. More virtual, virtual more vehicles to choose from. Um, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Also, I have two, I have two other second nine YouTube channels. Keyless production, Keyless Productions, and Keyless Dragon Ball. Check them out. The links, links to both those channels will be in the down in the down in the description down below. Please check out check out my other two channels. Please subscribe, drop a like, comment, and uh, and uh. Let me know what you think of the revamp. Do you think it's taking too long? Are you still excited? Are you still hyped for the revamp? Are you still excited? I'm certainly not. I do still care about the revamp. I certainly don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.